Hi, everyone. Bobby Laporte here again with my weekly leadership tip for your best next move, where I help you see continuing curveballs as an opportunity. So I'm in Lake Tahoe for a bit, and my internet has been very unpredictable over the last couple of days. So instead of uh, you having to watch a really terrible video, apologies, I decided this week's tip will just be audio. So it seems like every week I hear about yet another organizational change at one of my clients' companies. More often than not, that means that when this occurs for you, that you might find yourself with new team members, people you've inherited from other teams, and possibly new team members that you're hiring and adding to your team. Now, all these changes can be very time consuming and distracting for leaders who are feeling the pressure to execute and deliver results. But it is also important to remember that this represents a real opportunity to set the stage for your evolving team's success, to ensure that they're clear on the value proposition that your team brings to the organization, of the unifying theme that ties all their individual work together and of their connection to a larger mission. That's something we all crave as human beings. But even beyond these reasons, the current challenging and competitive environment we all find ourselves leading in requires that our team members clearly understand, connect to, and can articulate their wider contribution. And why is that? Because there's an increasing focus on leaders in this environment to do the work that matters, to create connection with their team members in a post-COVID world, and to show how all experiences, perspectives, and work products are valued. So here's my tip. <clears throat> you don't have to create this value proposition from scratch. Start with the mission statement for your company. After all, this is the ultimate reason why you were hired and why you do what you do. Then think, is there a more specific refined mission for your department? Maybe ask yourself the question, how do you speak to someone you're hiring about the opportunity they have to join your team and make an impact? The goal here is to help your team members, <clears throat> excuse me, literally look up from their work and see how they are adding value to your ultimate customer. So for example, if your co company makes software that helps people create new products for their customers, think of the extended impact you <clears throat> excuse me, and your team are producing. Now, of course, this is going to vary from company to company, but you need to make it clear in a way that everyone on your team <clears throat> excuse me, understands and can articulate their broader value to the company. All right, everyone, that's my tip for the week. I hope that was helpful. Have a great week and I will see you next Monday. All right, take care.